They ain't no fake it till you make it. Heard you. Yeah, yeah, what up, man? It's Vada Fly, man. Salute to everybody out there that's checking this out. But um, first and foremost, salute to Jims. You know what I'm saying? He reached out to me. I talked to him about a lot of things. And, you know, I could have easily tried to push this blame off on somebody else or try to make it seem like this and make it seem like that. But just to keep it 100, man, I apologize. You know, battle rap deserves more than this bullshit. This trolling, this all of this shit is whack, man. It's corny. Should have never happened. And um, I got to apologize. A lot of the shit that was said was not true. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I could touch on a couple things as far as, like, the disrespect to Jay Black. You know what I'm saying? Jay Black provided me with a platform to do remarkable things. You know, um, we did a lot of good things. Um, and as time moved on and time progressed, you know, I felt emotional about certain things you know um when people ask me about the smack volume one situation i was invited to smack volume one i was told i could go you know but i was told that i could not be on champion and the reason why is because i went to a king of the dot event now as far as king of the dot goes like i never worked for them i went to an event i paid to get to an event nobody i wasn't working for nobody i'm independent media independent i always been independent you know uh, Fed DMV, please, you can leave me alone. You know, you can stop doing all of this crazy shit. I'm good. You got it. But we're going to have to have a conversation about some things because a lot of things that you put in your in your blog was not true. Why you want to fight Rome for, nigga? You want to fight Rome over a blog? Which part did he say wasn't true? Which part? Now you want to fight Rome? I don't understand this part. He's upset with Rome. Who should be more upset here? Like, this is some childish shit. How are you mad at Rome? Rome is not the violator. Rome's just doing his job as a blogger. You guys, you've been taking shots for more than a year. And you're upset because he caught a body off of you? The only reason why he caught a body is because you made so many mistakes. It was messy, my nigga. Like, it was messy. But, you know, we'll cross paths when we cross paths. Other than that, man, salute to all of y'all out there. I'm done with it. It's the only time I'm speaking on it. I'm leaving it alone. I'm gone. I think the most important part of this is respecting your professional relationships. Like, you don't have any respect for the relationships that you had. I personally noticed that in the beginning because when you were new to War Report, right? So when you're having certain conversations within the group, it's supposed to stay there. Now, you can express your grievances with other team members, which me and you did. We had conversations about what we liked and what we didn't like. But those conversations don't leave outside of the family. You don't take that shit outside. And then you don't use this influence that you have to, like, Speak down to people or lie on people or just do the childish shit that you were doing. Um, it's up to the audience if they want to fuck with you. I really don't care. You're a grown ass man. As media, I think that you have certain responsibilities that you violated. Um, I don't know whenever someone trolls and... You're supposed to be taken seriously after that. Multiple accounts. Okay, so I have maybe two backup accounts, and that's in case I get blocked by Facebook or, you know what I'm saying, there's, block, there's backup accounts that I have just in case. Never a backup account to troll the competition. What competition? Like, it, you had it all in your hands and you let it go. And I think that it's because your character is flawed. I don't think there's any other reason. Like, I see that you're blaming URL and you're saying you got in your feelings over URL. So what it sounds like to me is you're saying that once you were only invited to smack volume one and not invited to be on camera for champion, you're saying that this character was created, Kenny Lewis. You forgot to talk about Trap King. But anyway, you're saying that this character was created when we all know for a fact that this character has been around for a long time, uh, harassing people like High Society, War Report, and God knows who else.
You know what I'm saying? I caught a couple of trolls when we had an argument, but I wasn't putting two and two together at that time. So this is not an attack on anybody. It's just, if we're going to be adults and make apologies and shit, it should be thorough. I mean, someone who was deployed out the country, I don't think that it should be that difficult. I, it's, it's disappointing that it took gems to get you to be a man, someone that's supposedly protecting us from what? Terrorists? We need protection from you. So for 2018, let's do away with all the fucking bullshit antics as bloggers. Moving forward, you know, have enough integrity to just let your work speak for itself. You shouldn't feel like you're threatened by anyone if you're secure with yourself and what you're doing. As long as you're putting the work in, everything should, you know, be fine. So like, share, subscribe. I'm the Hurricane Do, and goodbye.